Hello and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV video with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at ways that you can level up in Eureka Pagos, or more specifically, not in Eureka Pagos. So my attention was drawn to this fantastic guide posted on Reddit. I'll link the Reddit thread in the description. All credit obviously goes to this person, to uh, Makoto H, who I believe is also the author of this image, which was created by Snow Moonfall on the Kowal server. Thank you so much for this. This has been incredibly helpful for me myself. A lot of my time has been dedicated to other things in the game, including the Raffalus Extreme Grind, so I've not really jumped into Pagos as much as I should have until now. This guide was incredibly helpful, so I'd like to share it with you in terms of the information that this player has discovered. Essentially, if you're level 20, inside Eureka Animos, you have absolutely no reason or need to go into Pagos to get your levels. In fact, a lot of the Pagos grind groups will be asking for people in their high 20s, 25 to 30, sort of that range, would be a good estimate for where people are really at at the moment. So what can we do to sort of catch up to that? How can we get a group in Pagos? Well, essentially, if we go into Animos, the old Eureka instance, as a level 20 elemental level player, we can actually go and complete the new challenge log for Eureka inside Animos, you don't actually need to do it in Pagos. And essentially this map, as you can see, shows locations where you can actually get various monsters killed to actually complete those challenge logs. In fact, a lot of people are doing this, a lot of people have seen this Reddit post, and it's really helpful if you didn't know about this to go and start doing it now. Bear in mind the challenge log is weekly and resets like everything else on a Tuesday every week. So on average for a completion of this challenge log, I managed to get nearly two levels in Eureka Animos instead of actually going into Pagos. Now there are lots of downsides to this, some people would complain at me for suggesting this idea and indeed agreeing with this guide because of a lot of the later grinding levels require you to actually do a light grind inside Pagos. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use this up until that stage where you'll actually need to grind mobs in Pagos for those higher levels. This is a good way of getting there and obviously things being level 20 maximum and you being synced down is obviously going to be a lot Lot easier to kill than fighting monsters of level 21 plus on your own if you can't get a group. So as you can see the northern end of the map is where all of the high level monsters are and this guide essentially tells you the exact locations of all of those monsters that you'll need to kill. A lot of them you'll need to kill 60, 40, 20 of every different creature and there is actually quite a few groups still in Animos that are up for doing the challenge log here because it makes sense being that easy. And I wanted to bring more attention to so more people came and actually did this so I had more people to group with each week. In a group of eight players this is going to take you about half an hour depending on how many spawns you get and obviously the day-night cycle because some of the monsters including the blizzard sprites for example spawn in snow for example and indeed certain monsters such as the Dullahan only spawn at night. So that's worth bearing in mind before you spend any time in here but quick easy challenge log completion as you can see there we have nearly two levels in completion basically for no real work at all just a little bit of a grind with a group of people for about half an hour to an hour tops so a lot of people might be suggesting well haven't the exp changes in pagos made pagos more useful yes they have once you've done your challenge log in animos you want to head over into pagos and you can totally go and join the fate train the fate train isn't exactly what it used to be there was a patch the other day that reduced the amount of monsters needed to be killed for certain notorious monsters to spawn but in no way near as prevalent as they used to be in Animos. That doesn't necessarily mean there aren't groups already set up for the Fate Train, they just mostly AFK Aetherites, so if you want to join one of those you'll be waiting around a little bit, but they do award an insane amount of experience. Just for Silver I got about 200,000 experience as you can see on screen now, which is obviously quite a lot of XP just for one Fate, and we didn't even get Gold Rank because obviously we weren't doing as much damage as everyone else who's much higher elemental level than we are starting off. I think a decent combination of both doing the challenge log in Animos and indeed doing the actual fate trains in here will get you to the right level where you'll need to start grinding mobs anyway and will be a good leg up to try and catch up to other players who are already at or near to the max level. Thank you very much once again to Snow Moonfall from the Coal server and I'll link that thread containing this information and of course the image in the description of this video as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.